last year you started your YouTube channel. Yes, I did. What, last fall, right? Yep, September. Why did you do that? I had been, I, oof, I had a really rough year in 2010. Um, that was a tough year for me. Well, I, the year before I had sold my, I had sold my web series to MTV as a pilot. Um, so I had been writing this musical pilot um, with this other really talented writer who I was just like so ecstatic to be working with. Um, and I, you know, I put a lot of time and effort and energy into this pilot project as well as a couple other projects that I had up in the air that I was working on. And it was 2010 was like the year everything fell apart. It was like MTV didn't pick up the pilot that I'd been working on for so long. So I, for the first time ever, I had like put all this work into something and had nothing to show for it. Um, and I couldn't do anything with it because MTV owned the rights. And then all these other projects that I also had up in the air all sort of came falling down. And then like a contract I had with Cosmopolitan Magazine ended. Um, a contract I had with Heavy.com ended. Like some of these web, web places that I was working with, they were all experiencing the crash of 2009. There was like this big web bubble crash where all of a sudden the money was gone and people hadn't really figured out how to develop their audiences. So the first thing that they slashed was their digital budgets. And so all of a sudden it was like 2010 and I was like, oh my God, what's happening? I thought, I thought that I, I was moving in this direction and this is happening. <laughs> And, um, and I kind of just felt really honestly, like, sorry for myself for a, a, probably a good year, like where I would try to get something going, but I was sort of embittered by a lot of things that had happened the year before. And I think I was just tired. I was like really tired and, um, and so it was pretty much been working I, continuously from, uh, yeah, at that I'd, point from the time you'd gotten out of college. Yeah. I'd been working nonstop and was just really hard on myself and, and I think like just didn't understand like why things were happening. And I think was like starting to watch some of my peers experience a lot of success. And I was having a difficult time knowing where I should put my own energy. Like, should I be right? At this point now I had sold a pilot. So I had certain people, I had agents now on the writing side that wanted me to focus on writing. I had my hosting agent that still wanted me to focus on hosting. My acting agents were like, you've got to get better at auditioning if you're going to book a show. And so I felt like a lot of pressure and I really didn't know what I was really good at anymore. Like I was like, what am I really good at? Like, what should I be focusing on? Um, I just have a lot of balls in the air and everything seems to be falling right now. And so that was really tricky. And, and during this time period, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and um, kind of seeing what was happening in a really, really big way. I think in 2010, it started becoming really evident that YouTube was not going away anytime soon and that it was a place where you could build a, an audience. And, um, and even make money. But to me, it was hard. I was used to this method of like being paid up front by a company, rendering services, and then like going on my merry way. And YouTube is totally different. It's like, how do you build something so that you can make money from it? And so um, it took like two years, two years for me to, a year and a half, I think, from like the first thought of, I need to be on YouTube. Like I need to be doing this every single week. If I don't, if I don't do it, something, I, I didn't know what, but I was like this whole world, this whole digital world that I love so much and this kind of business that I've created for myself, it's going to go away if you don't get on YouTube and you don't build an audience. Like it doesn't matter that you've done all this digital work in the past. None of those people that have watched your shows are collected in one place. They're not Terran fans. They just were fans of that project that you were in. And so, um, yeah, it took me like a year and a half to actually do it. I think I was like terrified. I was terrified of failing and terrified of like putting out something that didn't represent me. I didn't even really know what like my channel would be about. Um, I didn't know how I would pay for it. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know all of these things. And, and then finally it got to the point where I was like, you're making up excuses for yourself and you've got to just do it. And so last summer I started making content and like banking it. Um, and just getting it ready to go and knowing that September 1st, I, I called out September 1st as the date that I would launch my channel. Right, well, uh, you said you, you know, just to follow up on something that said that you went through and you didn't know how you were going to make it. You didn't know how you were going to finance it. How did, how did this all come together? Did you have people helping you, uh, advising you? How did you, you know, 
you didn't just uh, do this blindly. You had to at least try to figure it out. So what yeah. did you need to figure it out and how did you figure it out? Yeah, I mean, I had definitely, at this point, I had a lot of friends that were YouTubers that, that had that I knew since like 2007. And so I was friends with all, all the big YouTubers at the time, like Justine and Fra uh, Philip DeFranco and, um, and uh, Rhett and Link. And a lot of these guys that were sort of like the Fine Brothers, I had known them all for years and sort of watching them take off. And so I did get to see what they were doing on the ground floor and kind of, you know, I, I definitely wasn't taking mental notes the whole way. So I, I, I sort of understood the strategy of it. For me, I just didn't know what kind of stuff I should be putting out. And um, in June of last year, I went to VidCon. And that was really it for me. Like, I went to VidCon. I was working with Alloy at the time and, like, doing interviews with people. And... Um, and I just saw something like, I mean, at that point, it was just like seeing all of those kids that were there that like were screaming at the YouTubers like they're, you know, Tom Cruise. And I was just like, this is insane. <laughs> this is really real. And that made me like really decided like I'm doing this. I'm definitely doing this. There's no one that can stop me from doing this. There's no pilot deal or acting job that's going to keep me from doing this. So I think that's what was happening is like I'd get distracted by that stuff. And I, um... I started dating someone who's a YouTuber named Chester. We ended up becoming fairly public about our relationship, but like we, we kind of started dating last summer and that was the first time I really saw like, at least in his, I mean, I think I was really fortunate. Thank God I dated him and maybe not some of the other YouTubers because he kind of had this attitude about it that was very much like, I'm not going to stress about it, but I'm just going to put out stuff I love to do. And it doesn't matter whether that's a song or a sketch. Like, I'm just going to put out whatever, like, I feel like putting out each week. And I think a lot of other YouTubers have a lot more of a strategy than that. Like, they have a format. They have a – but it was really healthy for me to see that because he had so much fun with it, and it never really stressed him out. And he would just kind of, like, make a video, like, the day before it had to be up. And in my head, it was, like, going to be this super complicated thing that required a lot of time and energy. And by the way, it totally is. <laughs> Chester is like an anomaly who deserves to like, I don't even know, like he, I don't know how he gets videos done every week. Is that just because his personality is that way? But... I think part of it's his personality and I think also like there's just certain things that just don't take him a lot of time and like I also just realize that we're different, like I'm like a perfectionist, like I want the sound to be really good, like I want certain things to be really good and there's other, there's certain areas where he's not nearly as much of a perfectionist where he's just like, I don't care, I just have to get it up. And I just realized we're just different in that way. But um, but it was so helpful for me that summer to see someone every week putting out a video and it not really be, being like, it never was this thing that like, A, got in the way of his, of other things that he was working on. It didn't get in the way of our relationship. Like it really didn't get in the way of anything. If anything, it just sort of inspired me. And as a result of dating him, we did a couple of videos together for his channel. Cause it'd be like Monday and he's like, oh, I have to put a video out today. And so he'd come up with an idea and then we would just shoot it together. And I was like, this is so fun. Like, it's so fun just like putting, just making something. Um, and he would just always figure out how to just do it. I don't know. Like, I was like, I had to hire someone because I was like, there's no, there's no way I'd get it done. Otherwise I have to hire like a DP and an editor, but, um, he would just do it. And so I think that was, that was, that was really it. Like Chester was the reason that I, really started doing the the weekly videos because he made it feel manageable to me and he made it feel fun. Um, of course, like when I started, um, my videos were a little bit more, like I did have to bring in a DP, like someone to shoot for me. Um, and I, I still work with the same guy. I still work with the same guy that I hired last year. And he basically like edits my videos and then sends me the edit and I give him notes and then usually he'll send me the edit back and then I go into Final Cut and I end up changing a bunch of stuff and moving it around. So you write um, everything. You write. You come up with the ideas for all your videos. Come up with the ideas, and I do end up editing a lot of them, to be honest. And you, and um, you write everything yourself. You don't have a team of writers producing uh, something for you. I wish. <laughs> uh, and you produce it yourself. Yeah, I produce it myself, and a lot of my videos are like bigger, sort of. I go back and forth between like the small videos that are just me or me and one other person. And the bigger concept, like music videos. How, how much time does that take every week for you to produce a video? It depends on the video. You know, like we did the Blurred Lines video, which was my last video. That We shot that in like four hours. That was like 9 a.m. to noon, 9 a.m. to 1, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah, that but that's four hours for the shoot. But how much time did it take to come up with the idea 
and to plan it. Well, Julia really kind of took the spearhead of that one. So, like, the recording studio, like, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and then to, like, produce and plan it, we had our other friend, Brigida, helping us out. They went to Target and bought underwear for the boys. I, I found the studio. I found the White Psych studio. And the two guys who directed the video, like, run the studio. So we got that at a really cheap price, which was awesome. And they directed the video, and they were fantastic and fun to work with as well. So, yeah, I mean, that was just like a phone call. I don't know. Like, that video was really, really easy to do. But sometimes they take days. Sometimes they take days. Like, I'd say in general, like, being a part of the YouTube community is not just about putting out your own videos. It's about collabing with other people and being in their videos. Yeah, so I, I spend a lot of time... I feel like I spend half of my week, I'd say three and a half days, like devoted to YouTube in some manner. If, even if it's not a video on my channel, there's like a fly flying around. Even if it's not a video on my channel, I'm like collabing with someone. I'm involved in, like, in a, at a YouTube event down in Marina Del Rey at their space. You know, I'm like doing something. 